Bomb source fed. Lee Newton. Joe Barrett. Intro. Some of our favorite stories that we've covered over the short life of SourceFed have revolved around the super spacey, super sciencey, and super inspiring Curiosity rover. And if SourceFed can stick around for the next seven years, <laughs> we'll travel down that fun space path again, but this time with an extraterrestrial bend. NASA's next red planet rover will be blasted to our galactic neighbor to search for signs of life, hopefully pointing to current life, but most likely, you know, to prove past life. Like back when the planet was warm and wet. Oh, talking about those warm and wet planets, girl? Yeah. Like the, rover will collect <laughs> the rover will collect samples from the surface. These samples would be analyzed and cached with the intent to bring them back to Earth. As of now, they're still working on the getting them back part. NASA isn't sure if they're going to come up with a system where the rover somehow blasts them back to Earth, or if the rover just hangs on to them until we send actual humans to the planet. Obama challenged NASA to do so by 2030, so who knows? But right now, we're focusing on the new rover, which is, for all intents and purposes, the old Curiosity rover. Curiosity 2. Still curious. Curiosity 2. Revenge of the rover. <laughs> Now, this is 50% because Curiosity went over like gangbusters, especially the landing system, which they're probably going to copy straight across the board, and 50% because of, uh, money, 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 money! Money! They need to keep everything under their $1.5 billion limit, and copying the old design will help ensure that they stay within their monetary limit. Curiosity Part 2 will, however, be equipped with, like, new fangled gadgetry and equipment tailored to the mission of finding ancient biology. So obviously we're looking forward to 2020, but if you need to get Mars rocks off before that, there's gonna be two missions heading to Old Red before 2020. One will measure Mars quakes, focusing on how the inside bits of the planet work, and the other one's gonna take deep robot breaths and analyze the atmosphere. So, uh, get ready for a lot of Mars people, alright? So what do you think NASA should name the new rover, and uh, why do you think that? Let us know in the comments down below. And of course, click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Click the sanitation or head on over to sourcefed.com. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. Head on over to sourcefed.com. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. We'll see you guys later. Bye.